All right, hello everyone. My name is Adrian Craig. I'm the director of the Richmond International House of Prayer, our global prayer room here at Maps Global. And joining me is Ben Samuels, one of our dear friends uh, here at the prayer room. He comes and, and prays, seeks the Lord, has a beautiful musical talent. Thank you. Many instruments he plays. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, take some time to talk with you, Ben, about um, just your experience, like how you found the prayer room. Work. <laughs> well, thanks for asking. Yeah. I so feel honored. <laughs> how, like, how, uh, how did you find the prayer room? So, you know, I had always been playing music, and then a friend of mine invited me to a different place where they were doing a worship night. Mm -hmm. So I got introduced to kind of extended worship through that, mm -hmm. and then the pandemic happened. Um, mm -hmm. But it was always something that I enjoyed, and I didn't really know much about what it was like to just worship for a long time, mm -hmm. you know, and to just play music and not to have like mm -hmm. a very uh, finite amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, and so when the pin, the beginning of this year, I really wanted to go and find something like that. Um, but I also was feeling really uh, just, just kind of confused <laughs> about a lot of things. And my brain was all over the place and I was not finding it easy to pray. Mm -hmm. So I had actually heard about Rye Hop mm -hmm. and I had looked it up like four years ago, Oh, okay. but I just never came. Mm -hmm. So that was, so I just came to mind again and then I looked it up and then I came. Okay. So that's how I found it. Oh, cause the first time I saw you was uh, a friend of yours, James was wanting to get involved. Yes. And then the next thing we knew, he's like, Hey, I have this friend. Yeah. He might want to get involved too. Can I bring them? And we're like, of course, duh. And so to, to go back to something that you mentioned a, a moment ago about just being able to worship uh, without there being like a, you know, 15 minute worship slide, yeah. you know, or even necessarily like a room full of people that you're leading, but actually um, just a dedicated time where the goal, the purpose is to minister to the Lord and you know, not not really confined to like a few minutes, but just spending yeah. long amounts of time just ministering to Jesus. Well, it's funny because it's like if somebody were to say, "Oh Ben, I want to talk to you," but I only have fifteen minutes, and I'm going to do all the talking, and then I'm going to leave, then I wouldn't feel like talking back to that person. So it's true. It's kind of like that's how I was. That's how I was. I guess used to praying and that was how I was used to worshiping is that it was just an action I did but um what happened as soon as I came here was just there weren't boundaries it was just mm. just just do it and yeah. do it for as long as you want to do it mm -hmm. and as I start rehearsing and doing all the things I'm used to doing I quickly run out of things to say and quickly run out of things to pray pray and finally, God's like, finally you stop talking. Now I can start talking to you. Mm. And I think that was a big thing that I learned over the last, I guess, eight months now. Mm. I've been coming pretty regularly. And what I've seen is each time I spend 45 minutes just not saying anything. Mm. I just sit and just kind of, I don't know, just be. Mm. And it takes that time to to really gather my own thoughts, but also just to kind of, it's like this su super countercultural thing that I'm not doing outside of the prayer room usually. Mm -hmm. Usually I'm just bombarded by noise all the time, mm -hmm. but it's this space that is free from distraction and it's like this place where I can finally feel like I can be still, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's been a huge thing um, as I've been praying, mm -hmm. being still as, led me to find a lot of peace, mm. a lot of direction, a lot of clarity. And none of it was like this, like hit you over the head, like, oh, I suddenly understand everything. Mm -hmm. It was more of just this inner working um, and growing of peace and joy mm. and contentment. Mm. And that happened through 
you know, just spending time with God. Crazy. And it spills over to everything else. Because mm. now I don't feel awkward talking to God. Because mm. it feels normal. It feels like, you know, it's like if you have the conversation with your buddy who you haven't talked to for a long time, mm-hmm. but you have that good, like, hour-long, <laughs> like, catch-up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you finally, like, get to that point. Mm-hmm. Then you, like, feel free to, like, just have that regular communication. So it's like, mm. okay, when I spend time with God, with God here, it also helps me spend time with God at random moments in the day because I feel connected to him already. Wow. I've heard you say it before, but it's really it's really powerful to say you can say it again. Thanks for but, asking. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, we invite you guys to join us here at the prayer room, eight AM to eight PM, Monday through Friday. We'll be here and hope to see you soon.